On this YouTube channel, we don't use pencil marks. We solve puzzles without them. This puzzle is from Sudoku to Go, Volume 155, Puzzle Number 95. It's a diabolical puzzle. This puzzle has a set of non-uplets which we will reduce to a bunch of twins. It has two sets of non-uplets. I'll, I'll mention them in just a minute. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that you can print this puzzle by following these instructions right here. You can also go to sudokuprimer.com, go to this menu item, and there are lots of puzzles out there that you can print and solve. And if you want to see how they're solved, there's a link to each, to, for, me, for each puzzle to a video that you can watch and watch how to solve it. So go check those out. Well, let's solve this. I wanted to point out the non-uplets I, I mentioned uh, at the beginning. We have box 5. It doesn't have a single number in it. So that's one set of non-uplets. And row 5 doesn't have a single number. Another set of non-uplets. But in a minute, I'll talk about box 5 and how we can reduce those non-uplets to um, a bunch of twins. But before I do that, I'm going to put in some numbers here. That put in the easy numbers like I usually do. Here's a 5 and a 5 and a 5 there. So it makes that a 5. We also have a 5 there. We have 6s there, so that makes that a 6. And we've got an 8 here. <clears throat> Ghost 8's there, so one of these is an 8. With that 8 there, we can put an 8 here. Now we've only got 3 and 9 left in this column. With that 3, we can put a 9 there and a 3 here. Alright, now we've got a 4 and a 6 here because we've got 4, 6 there, 4, 6 twins right there. That makes these 4 and 6 also. And we can fill those in because there's a 4 there. Alright, and we've got a 9 here, a 9 here, so that makes that a 9. Now let's just look and see what we've got here. We've got 2, 2 and 9 there, 1 and 8 there, 4 and 6, and 2 and 7. We can solve the 1 and 8 because of this 1 right there. So I'll put those in. And in row 8, we're missing 1, 3, 4, 7. 1, 3, 4, 7. There's a 1, 4, and 7. So that's a 3 right there. Okay, that's a 1 or 7, 1, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7. So we can't solve those yet. And at this point, we've taken care of the easy numbers. But we're, we've got a long ways to go still, and uh, we're kind of stuck. Well, let me talk about uh, the non-uplets here. Let's look at this row, and then we'll look at this row right here. This row is missing 1, 4, 5, 6, 1, 4, 5, and 6. We have a 5 and a 6 there and a 5 and a 6 there, so these are 1, 4 twins right there. And these are 5, 6 twins. We can't solve either of those sets of twins, but let's keep those in mind. Now let's look at this row right here. We're missing 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Missing quite a few numbers here. But <clears throat> let's look at, um, these are, f f that's 4, 6. Let's look at this cell right here. We're missing... 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. 3, 4, and 8. 
But if you remember, we found one four twins here. So we're missing three or eight here. Three and eight here. Let's look at this one. Remember, we're missing three, four, five, six, and eight in this row. So this is three, four, five, six, eight. So here's a set of three eight twins. So, so far we know these are one four twins. These are three eight twins. And there's a two and a nine here. So these are two nine twins. Now we could have also found those by twos here and nines here and two nine here two nine twins, even if we didn't find these one fours and three eights right here. But now we've got three sets of twins and one triplet right here, but we can reduce this to a set of twins because we've got a seven there and a seven there, so that makes that a seven. Now we have two nine, one four, three eight, and 5, 6. So, um, now let's look at at this row here for a second. We're missing, we got two 9 twins there, so we're missing 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 3, 4, and 6. So that's a 4 or a 6 that's a four or six because these are four six twins. And look at this, we got a one and a three here, so that's a four or a six. So we got four six twins here and one three twins there. And so these triplets right here are four, five, and six that we're missing. Here's a four five, four six, and five six. We can't solve any of those or the one three twins, but I wanted to point those out. Now let's look at column 5 one more time. We're, we have 5, 6 twins right here. So we're missing 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 3, 4, and 8. And look at this. we got 1, 4 here, so that's a 3 or an 8. And 1, 4 here, so that's a 3 or an 8. So these are 1, 4 twins here. So we have 3, 8 twins, 5, 6 twins, and 1, 4 twins. And with that one, we can put a four there, and a one there. We can't solve the three eights or the five sixes yet. Okay, now we're missing a four and seven on this row. Since we filled in this one, remember we had one, four, and seven on that row? There's a four right there, so we can put the four there and a seven there. All right, and now that we put a four here, we can fill in the one four twins that we found. There's a four there and a one there. And now we've got a seven, seven, seven right there. With that being a seven, that makes that a seven. And seven, 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 that makes that a seven. All right, and now remember our two seven twins here? We've got a set of, uh, one of these is a seven because of these sevens now. So we know one of these is a seven. So neither of these can be a two. We've got a two here. Neither of these can be a two because we have two seven twins here and using unique rectangles, two sevens and seven in either of these places. So neither one of these can be a two. There's a two here, so that means that's a two right there. So we can fill in a two there, seven there, two there, and a seven there. And then we're missing three, three eight here. With that three, we can fill in a three there and an eight there. All right, and remember our three eight twins there? We can put the eight there. Okay, now we're missing, let's see. We got a one here and one here, so that's a one. What are we missing here? We're missing 
6 and 8. 6, 8 there. Okay, so now we've got a 1 here, 1 here, and 1 there, so that's a 1. And since we've filled in the 1, 8 there and the 7 there, we can put a 1 right there. All right, now we're, what are we missing here in row 1? 4, 8, and 9. There's a 4 and an 8, so that's a 9. And there's a 4 right there, so that's a 4, and that's an 8. All right, and with this 8, we can fill in the 6 8s that we saw here. Now, let's see, remember our three eights here, and there's a three here, it's the only number missing in this box, box two, so now we can put the eight and three here, all right, now remember our four six twins right here and two nine twins there, um, <coughs> That means there's that's a three right there. Okay, I'm gonna put that three in, and uh, got a six there and a six there. So that's a six right there. So that means that's a four and that's a six right there and now we're missing two numbers here so let's see what those are four five four and five we can fill those in all right and with this five here we can fill in the five six twins here well we have a six there too so put a six there and a five there and we can fill in these two nines right here that we found. Got enough information for that now. All right, now we're missing one, two, five, five there in column seven. And now we've got, let's see, two, three, and nine there and two nine there only only numbers that are left here this is a loner cell so let's look down here six seven four six seven four five one nine five one so that's a nine that makes that a two and that a nine right there and we got two and three there with that three right there makes that a two and that a three well, that's it. With these uh, this non-uplets here that we reduced down to about four sets of twins, that helped us find quite a few numbers, and we were able to uh, do pretty well. Sometimes you look at a puzzle and see boxes, rows, or columns that don't have many numbers. Sometimes you find them that don't have any numbers, like in this case. But don't let that fool you. Sometimes they may be rich with numbers, like uh, this box five here. Well, thanks for watching, and happy solving.